we probably don't want to be rubbing shoulders with uh, organized uh, in, um, far right militant groups um, that have, you know, that are very open about it. I mean, you could go right now and view on YouTube their their videos of their trainings, the very forward symbolism. They're not hiding this stuff. Canadian diplomats and soldiers in Ukraine took an unusual meeting in June of 2018, one that's now coming to light. It was a meeting with one of the paramilitary units raised to fight off the Russian invasion of Ukraine's eastern provinces. One problem, that unit, the Azov Battalion, has been linked to neo-Nazism, and the Canadian military knew. An Ottawa citizen report says Canadian forces in Ukraine produced a briefing in 2017, saying members of the Azov Battalion identified themselves as Nazis. But the June 2018 meeting happened anyway, with a Canadian forces colonel and diplomatic staff attending. The battalion published pictures on social media, saying Canadian representatives expressed their hopes for, quote, further fruitful cooperation. In a statement, the Department of National Defense says they are strongly opposed to the glorification of Nazism and all forms of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia, intolerance and extremism, adding, our official position remains that we are not, nor will we be providing support to Azov and affiliated entities. Brad Galloway with the Center for Hate, Bias and Extremism has studied the Azov Battalion. He says that while some neo-Nazi groups prefer to be discreet with their imagery, the Azov Battalion is more forthright. German news found members of the unit sporting SS symbols and swastikas, and Azov prominently places the wolf's hook and black sun, two symbols favored by the Nazis, on its crest. Maybe there's a wing of them that want to tone it down a little bit so it's playable in North America. You know, that could be one aspect of it, but I think with the way they're doing things over in Europe, I think it's they're not there. It's as advertised. Galloway says what concerns him most is the Canadian government underestimating the reach of groups like the Azov Battalion. Similar to Canadians who join ISIS, Galloway warns that alienated far-right Canadians may see the Azov Battalion as a chance to turn ideology into action. Some risk I see is that guys giving up on the movement in North America and saying, well, we should organize and go to Eastern Europe where we can actually do something, we can make a difference. Um, and that's, that is, uh, that's, I think, a huge risk. In Ottawa.